Oh, he's gorgeous. Oh. Oh my God, we oh. have to have that one. Oh, he's so sweet. And he's awake, which is always a good sign. Hi. Hello. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's actually so bright right here. It just doesn't feel quite the same without Pingu around anymore. Like, I miss having a hamster. So, we saw so many and I just, you know, really, really thought, I just thought it would be a great thing to do to adopt from them. And so we did. We found, there were like three Syrians they had. They had a rabbit, they had guinea pig, gerbils, all sorts in for adoption today. And a bunny. Yeah. He's a cute. Yeah. There is supposed to be. Someone's probably adopted just one. No, yeah, because they wouldn't allow that, would they? Oh, it might be in the nest. I can see the nest moving. Maybe it's in there. We've just got one cool. kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so they've got that's one Syrian. That's another Syrian. Have they got Oh, that's a, that's a robo. That one's another Syrian, it's all white. Oh, oh he's cute. <laughs> oh. That sounds that just sounds like Vinny. Like oh, oh my god, he's, he's adorable. Oh. How long what, is he? We used to have one called Polo. Oh, yeah, you? one of the robos, I renamed him. Oh, yes, you did. <laughs> Because oh one God, of them. He's trying to squish his head. Oh, he's like, oh, bless him. It could be a she, remember? It's a snake. Oh. Oh. We've got to take him out. Yeah. Is he all right? He's lying. Oh. What's he doing? What are you doing, Babs? He's sniffing the air, isn't he? Ah. Oh. So cute. Oh my god, he's dying. Yeah. Very bonny hamster. Oh, so pretty. Oh. So big. Yeah. He used to be teeny tiny when we had little ones. Because Pink Pingu was really small compared to. Hey, going back to sleep, oh. I died. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's having a wait. No fiddle. I won't film. Go around the corner. <laughs> oh. oh. You see, a white hamster with black eyes is really unusual. Yeah. yeah it's a pink eye, don't you? I haven't seen many like that one before. Oh, yeah. oh. I've got so much better food. Yeah, I've got a lot better food than that. I like you doing this. Oh. I'm going to sit in this stupid wheel now and it's Oh, filled. bless oh, God, it. This is terrible. Oh, I can't <laughs> run around in that. We have a much better wheel than that. Oh. There'll be some reason why I can't have it. He's got no sign up. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you're so cute. There's loads under that bridge. Oh my god. There's another three. They're tiny, aren't they? Oh, oh. oh you're adorable. <laughs> Our robos look nothing like that, did they? They no. were like all one colour. Oh. That's well cute. Absolutely adorable. <laughs> you sweet. Are you awake again? Oh. He's cute. <laughs> There has been quite a lot of things happening in this room. Basically, um, this CNC cage, which the skinny pigs were living in, the weight of like everything on top is just not. It's just not working. Like this is happening um, underneath. Everything's cable tied together as well, but it's just not held together. So I'm going to have to completely reconstruct this and maybe have two CNC cages. Um, in a different position. Here are the girls. Hello. <laughs> I know it's not ideal, um, but it's gonna have to do for now. I do need to top up their hay rack as well. <laughs> oh, Beano's found the nice warm part of the fleece. Yeah, so basically, as I was saying, um, we have been keeping an eye on the... On the animals in um, pet home adoption, as we always do, um, you guys saw Tink, who we um, went to go and have a look at. Um, my mum went back yesterday. She's still not up for adoption. Um, 
I don't really know what's going on. I think, you know, it's been two weeks now. It's been over two weeks, actually. The solution that I've come up with is to put Sooty in a new cage which we've bought today from Pets Home. It's a large gerbil area. Sooty's really not happy at the minute. He was fine at first, but these last few days he's just been bartering and hanging off the grids and he's not been happy in the detolf because he needs to dig. And I didn't think it was a problem at first, but now he's getting really bored because he doesn't have enough bedding to dig in. So we've bought him this cage, which the Syrian hamster is currently in. This is just so he doesn't escape. And it's actually like, not a bad size for Sooty, I think, you know, as long as I get him out for playtime every day and everything like that, he's got tons of depth for bedding, he's got, you know, things to climb up, and I think it's better suited to him. Look who it is. <laughs> he always comes at like inconvenient times. I don't mind him being in here, but not whilst I'm sorting out like, you know, we've got um, the Syrian hamster in here. We've got um, Sooty, just been moved into his new cage. <laughs> it's only been like one minute and Sooty is already loving this. I've still got to put all his toys in and everything. I've literally just put him straight in here with just the bedding. So I've got so much work to do with this cage. However, at the minute, look how happy he is just digging away. Like, I haven't seen him this happy in ages. I'm not even kidding. Like, you wouldn't believe he would like this better than the Deotolf, but seriously, it's just the digging that he wants. And now he's got that, I think he's happy. Jasper is such a monkey. He always wants to come in at inconvenient times. So I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to go. You can come back later. I put my hamster in I thought I would show you a bit of an overview I'm just gonna open up the box and let him find his own way out oh, you having a sleep darling there he is he looks so sleepy oh is he trying to chill that door He'll find his way out soon, I'm sure. Oh, here he comes. Oh, he's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, he's so cute. It's all new for him now. He's like such a lovely colour. I've never really seen a Syrian like this colour with like really black like button eyes oh what have you found are you nibbling the bedding <laughs> where is he going now oh <laughs> he is insanely cute oh always oh, found the um wood pile I'm not sure where he's going now he's probably gonna go through the tunnel yeah I thought he might do we'll see him pop out the end <laughs> Gorgeous. Oh, he's decided to reverse all the way back out. I'm pretty sure we're gonna find. Oh, there he 
is. It must be really nice for him to have a wheel this big because in the pet shop they only have tiny, tiny wheels. So it's the first time he's ever had a wheel this big. And I think he's gonna like that. Guinea pigs are weaking because they think this is for them, but I've just made up a batch of the hamster food. This is what like two kilograms of it looks like. So I'm really happy with how this recipe has turned out. And yes, as I said, I do sell it on my website, so you can check that out if you're interested. It's just a blend of like over 20 natural ingredients and just various grains, small seeds, dried vegetables, dried herbs and there's things like walnuts and pumpkin seeds in there there's all sorts like a variety and yeah just really natural looking a lot of grain flakes as well so i guess if you're looking for like a more natural food brand then that's kind of what this is so i'm gonna see what he thinks of it i also thought that i would mention that i do need to feed dried mealworms as well or some other dried insects because this mix does not contain any animal protein at all that's just simply because I can't sell food which has animal protein in because you need to be registered differently to do that so for a daily serving I would say about a level tablespoon is about about right obviously you alter it to suit yours so that's what I've got for today. So yeah, so he's actually doing okay. I am gonna order him a different wheel because the one he's got in at the minute is far too small and I don't want him to have that one. So I'm gonna order a better one. I actually quite like how this food bowl clips onto the side. I do like that it's a good feature actually. And yeah, he seems to be okay with this and he's been digging and you know playing with everything, so that's good. I know I said I was going to film the outdoor guinea pigs in my next vlog but obviously I didn't expect the vlog to be getting a new hamster so yeah as I did promise I will you know move that forward to the next vlog um, there's just been a lot crammed into today's vlog which I wasn't expecting but anyway I hope you guys have enjoyed this it's been very exciting and yeah got a new addition to the pet family which is very very exciting and <laughs> the skinny pigs are just enjoying the hay now so thanks for watching and I will see you guys soon.